Today on The Simple Life, what I'm going to be showing you is how we are going to quick and easily uh, get our tuna can that we live in to be converted into shore power, to where it can take shore power. Right now, the way we are doing it is if you can follow this line, that's right to that little box. So anyways, everything that we use that we plug into is right here in this box. We don't need more outlets than that. If anything, that's too much outlets. But the wires come up, up, around all the way back behind the clothing back there and then out through this window which means that we have to have this window open at all times which sort of sucks uh, that's how we are currently getting it what we will be doing though is swapping to this okay it's called a NACO GCPI it's for 15 amps uh, 125 volts all you have to do is drill a two inch hole slide this bad boy right into it you can see it's just a regular old normal outlet it's just a weird extension cord so we'll drill a hole put this on the outside of the trailer sticking it in and this extension part is going to plug into our box that i just showed you. just for further explanation this is uh found on amazon it's only you can see right there 16.95 i think after taxes and stuff it was uh, a little over 20 bucks but I'll put a link in the description if y'all are trying to turn anything custom into where it can accept shore power where you don't have to run wiring everywhere and you can just plug it into the side, which we're very excited about. Uh, only thing you're going to need to install is going to be a drill, two inch hole saw, uh, three screws that comes with them. They come with, with the screws and then miscellaneous drill bits. Okay, step one is going to be finding out where you want the hole. I'm thinking I would like the hole to be somewhere in this area. It's on the main action side of the trailer, so we can always plug in and out. Um, but the fact of the matter is though, and this is our garage, which I'm about to show you. This is where all the wiring, electrical stuff is at. And so in order not to nick that, I will have to screw from the inside out. And I'll show you what I mean. Ugh. Okay, so here is the, all of my solar panels, some on my messy wiring stuff. But I want the hole to come in about right here. I think this right here will work. So in order to do that, I'm going to drill from the inside out. That way I can mark the hole right here and make sure I'm not going to connect anything. And then go on the outside and then drill with the hole saw. So first drill, second drill. I think we'll be all right. Yeah, this is the scary part. <laughs> you can right there. No stud. There it is. There's no turning back. And there is the new hole on the outside. So I know if I can take this drill bit right there, I should clear all my electrical systems and it'll be in the spot that I want it to be. Okay, so a problem we already think we have is uh, that our trailer's thickness with all the insulation and the plywood is going to be thicker than this. So we'll have to probably notch out a piece of that. So you could, we'll go ahead and test fit it. So you shove it in there and yeah, it won't go in all the way because this cable comes out to the bottom. See how that works. Like a glove, almost. Little, little patchy. But you can see the problem I'm dealing with now. That's all the way in. Uh, our wall is too thick for it, and so we just notched out a swap for the cord. This cord gets attached to that box. That's going to be up that way, and uh, boom! All of, whenever we want electricity. We just take our cord and attach it to this feller. All I gotta do is screw it together. Easy, easy, easy. Now when screwing into aluminum, you do not over tighten them because you can just make a hole really big. You just go down to snug. Like that. Cool. Now, we have a functioning 
little socket. This is how we'll get our shore power from here on out. So excited? How about you? It's so cool. Yeah, it takes, it's just inconvenience, really. This is gonna make it so much more convenient. I think this took you 20 minutes. Yeah, 20 minutes to just do this, and then all from now on out, we just gotta. Anyways, we'll show you uh, it working, I guess. I don't know how I'll do that, but we'll figure it out. <laughs> so excited. It's a moment of truth. That to there. That looks so nice. Look at that. That was so easy. Now we have power to the inside of the house. Compared to running it through the whole place. And did you plug anything in? Oh no. Let's do it. Here. This is a cool charger, is... by the way. Oh, there it goes. It is charging. It brought the phone on. I'm 100% cool. though. We have electricity. That is the end of our tutorial. And this is a cool charger. It's just a little magnet piece that stays in your phone. And whatever you want, this magnet piece just clips and just goes boop. We like that because we both have two different types of chargers, but with this, we can use the same cord, so we don't have to really worry. Where's my charger? Oh, I got this one over here. Yeah, a red one and a blue one. Anyways, that is it. This is how you quickly and efficiently, I guess, can turn your conversion, tiny home, whatever you are doing that you need electricity to, to connect to a power outlet. They do have these outlets where it's not three prong, but like the actual RV hookup. So if you're dealing with some bigger stuff, uh, super is simple to install. I mean, you saw it's probably gonna be like a five less minute video Anyways, there will be a link down below to the Amazon uh, Product and you know go check it out. Thank you for watching